helped the Skills community mark our initiative for one good deed as part of our celebration at the Cash School. Today is about recognising our community. A community steeped in history and tradition. A community of faith, a community in Christ. The legacy of the huge work carried out by the Sisters of Mercy. Today we plant a tree to represent our community, our Christian identity and our hope and faith in Jesus Christ. This area here where we gather was a site of Merki, which, which represented a challenging time in our recent past. This tree that we plant today is a testimony to our strength as a community. It finally speaks to us, reminding us of our enduring spirit that we are together through the good times and through the challenging times. So as a community, we look forward. We look forward to spring. We look forward with hope. We look forward confident that we are a community and that we have each other. And we look forward to sitting under the shade of this tree in years to come telling tales of life in Glossa. I'd now like to hand you over to our principal, Ms. Pound. As Claude has said, Today marks Kalora Kesht, and this is a new celebration that started last year to mark that we're in the Kesht community of schools. There's 107 schools who were all founded by either the Presentation Sisters, Mercy, a few other small orders. And this is the, it's 15 years last year since Kesht was founded to bring us all together into the 107 schools. So we have a very rich tradition. We were started, founded in 1860 by the Mercy Sisters, and we still have they're really good traditions, as I said, on Mercy Day when we celebrated from our Mass, the opening year. Those sisters laid the foundation for really good education, especially for girls. Uh, because at that time, girls were not seen as equal to boys, so their education was not seen as priority. And that's something the sisters started, and we hope we continue, that you know you're in a school where girls are really important, and your education is so important that you're confident, strong, capable young women as you leave us and even still while you're with us of course but especially as you leave us to go on to do great things so this as Claude mentioned this is where our marquee was in the tough times but it also well before that all this area was the sisters garden they lived in that house and this was their garden and it was a lot more picturesque uh, I'm afraid to say not, not as picturesque today but they had all the garden here so they've handed all this over to us in the name of education so we're very grateful to the sisters for the heritage they have left us. This tree will be here to mark what we are as a school, our roots. So it's very symbolic that we have a tree that shows our roots, where we've come from. The roots are set there firmly and they will be firmer now in a little while. And that this will grow. And as you said so eloquently, hopefully in years to come, that you'll be able to sit under this tree and remember the good times you've had in school here. Also, you're trying out for the first day, I think, our new benches. So there are many more over behind and we hope to be able to have an outdoor classroom and that you can use these benches. And there'll be a nice bench around this tree here so that you can sit and take in nature. And as you know, the theme for Kalora Kesht is what? Do you know the theme? One good deed, okay? So it's one good deed. And as you mentioned, we are a community and we do that all the time. But I suppose we're asked this week to remember that if we can do one good deed for another person, and that might be something very simple, like smiling, like saying hello, like saying, how are you? It doesn't have to be a big deed, but just one good deed, if we could all think of that, in particular this week, and I know you do it all the time. So we formally <laughs> say, this is our Kalorakesh tree, and we remember all those who have gone before us, and there'll be many more who come after us. And so this is a symbol of hope. And it's a symbol, and I think very fitting today, Mr. Carmody organized that, that the weather would be just perfect today. So it's a lovely spring day, and I think that's a sign of our hope. On Wednesday, we celebrate it's the official first day of spring. It's also St. Bridget's feast day, a very strong woman in Catholic tradition and in our own tradition. So we remember all those things, and we say we will celebrate this week in different ways throughout the week. So thank you, and thanks to Mr. Carmody for organizing the the ceremony this morning and thanks to all of you for being here.